I'm Ashton Addison from EventChain for Investment Pitch Media and Crypto Coin Show. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Peter Mihalik, the CEO of CC Found. Peter, welcome to the show and thanks for taking the time to be here today. Hello, Ashton. Hello, guys. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited about our discussion with CC Found. I know you're working on some really interesting things right now. And it'd be great if we can kick off the discussion with just an overview and a focus on what is CC Found and what are the problems that your team is solving for? All right, let me answer with the question. So ha have you guys ever had a situation where you looked for something on the internet and later ended up with 20 opened tabs and maybe spent hours looking for this thing, right? So everybody had this situation. We, we can see that internet is not what it was supposed to be and a tool for organizing the worldwide information. Uh, there's too much information nowadays. There's informational chaos. Mm -hmm. So I could also ask you, do you still believe that we are living in the information era? Definitely. So uh, probably we are not. Researchers oh. nowadays say <laughs> that the information age ended in the year 2000 okay. about the dot-com burst. And thus the knowledge age started. So you can notice mm. possibly that uh, companies, for example, that had bigger knowledge, they had greater success, right? But can you tell me, uh, is it nowadays, for example, with companies or with a person, is it about what information do you have from school, possibly? Mm -hmm. Or is it about the knowledge you have, for example, you know how to produce a video? Mm -hmm. Or is it about the wisdom, you know how to live your life, you know which decisions to make? For example, was Steve Jobs uh, a person that had better know-how how to produce computers? Mm -hmm. Or had he more wisdom about how to spin his company, how to do the branding, and produce something that had better long-term effects. So we can Definitely. see uh, what the researchers say, that we are going to, towards the wisdom age. Mm -hmm. Knowledge age is ending, and the company okay. that will produce a wisdom age search engine will win on the market nowadays. Mm -hmm. So that's what we believe. And thus, we see Google and Wikipedia as information age solutions. Mm -hmm. And you could say Quora and Yahoo Answers are also platforms when you can search for wisdom, but they are de facto entertainment sites with attention grabbing algorithms and there's no organization whatsoever. Mm -hmm. YouTube, forums, chats, Facebook groups, they also gonna generate chaos. So what we are doing, CC Found, will uberize, you could say, the problem of knowledge and wisdom search, similarly to Google by polling the network, mm -hmm. but not of computers, but of other people's minds. Mm. Okay, very interesting. And yeah, you're right about there's a lot of information on the web right now and it's just becoming so abundant, overabundant. You know, every day there's, every second there's more than days of video being uploaded with so much information. It's too, almost too much to process. And to be able to have that wisdom to find the right information, turn that into something that you can actually utilize um, is obviously very valuable. So can you just go a little bit deeper into CC Found and like, how does that process work, you know, in, compared to what people are used to now using CC Found um, to get things done? Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, ha you have pr probably noticed that uh, processing all this information takes a lot of work. And uh, in the past, uh, who, who was the greatest authority? Possibly the expert. But nowadays, mm -hmm. Times are changing and every one of us is an expert in something. You know something about cryptocurrencies that only this little field is such, so great, so big that I know something else about cryptocurrencies. And if we merged what we know, mm -hmm. we would have greater wisdom, right? We could make better decisions. For example, investment, when to invest, when to mm -hmm. go out of the market and take our money. So. Um, Mm -hmm. Google was good for the time being because they organized some of the Internet's information and their motto was don't be evil, <laughs> right? Yeah. Nowadays, Google makes military robots. Mm -hmm. Times have changed. <laughs> so you, possibly you have noticed that when Googling Bitcoin, you get search results and half of the screen consists of ads. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is, this is not in response to what you are looking for. So who is creating the content you see in Google? People. Mm -hmm. Google has not created anything yet. Mm -hmm. So we know that's people who create the content for other people. So who should we ask our questions? When, for example, we are investing in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, we have mastermind groups 
of investors mm-hmm. who are multi-millionaires because the other company I have in Poland is about investment advice. Yeah. And together we are making better decisions than we would make alone. And this process of self-coaching, of coaching other people, of leading other people, of sharing the knowledge, of sharing the wisdom, greatest people in their industries were doing this always. So, for example, if you take a good sportsman, right, he has coaches, trainers, uh, he has a whole lot of stuff that of people that are taking care of him. Mm-hmm. We should make this process possible for each and every person. And this is possible by implementing a very simple mechanism of questions and answers, mm-hmm. but in with a spin. For example, first of all, there are no questions and answers websites nowadays on the internet that would be fully decentralized and that would create mm-hmm. a decentralized autonomous organization that would allow people to also monetize their knowledge and participate uh, in the profits by taking tokens. Mm. And second of all, Uh, there is no place on the internet currently where an expert can both create his presence, like on YouTube, like you also do on YouTube, but mm-hmm. also to monetize his knowledge by taking the, this uh, to the next level for his community, by mm-hmm. selling them information products, for example. This is what I've been doing for the last 15 years. Mm-hmm. So you need to take your traffic, for example, from YouTube to another website, and you need to have 15-person company to manage all these websites for you nowadays if you want to sell anything online. Mm -hmm. So it is practically impossible for a normal expert, for example, a doctor, right, or a medicine doctor, to sell his knowledge without setting up a separate company that would manage his online activities because Mm -hmm. things are too complicated. And you have this separation of websites that monetize and websites Where you, where you build your community. We mm-hmm. are merging these two realities, mm. creating one big space where you can share your knowledge, build your community, where you are a co-owner of this whole community and where reputation matters, not censorship like on YouTube, right? Yes. I could go on and on for, for hours. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, Peter. And that ties it back into you know, the blockchain governance and having a decentralized ecosystem. You mentioned have turning CC Found into a DAO, a decentralized autonomous organization. Can you just dive into that from the consumer standpoint in terms of searching for information and wisdom and also just creating it? How can and how do creators get involved with CC Found to become a part of the ecosystem? All right. So what is very important to understand is as I have said before, you, you can notice that nowadays everyone knows something, right? Mm-hmm. So there no longer is this uh, the, the, the situation where you have separately experts and separately other common people who know nothing, right? Mm-hmm. Nowadays, everybody can share something. For example, even if you are a newbie to the community in terms of investments or Bitcoin, maybe you had a situation where you lost your funds because you made a mistake. And then you see that someone asks a question on CC Found Mm -hmm. that he lost his funds and he wonders what to do. Mm -hmm. And even though you are a newbie, you can help this other person because you Mm -hmm. had the same situation. So even then you became an expert. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you will not become an expert that will sell his information products soon, right? Mm -hmm. It will take some time. But uh, also, this leads us to another thing regarding how we should lead the community. For example, nowadays, when you have uh, sites like Udemy, everyone can publish their courses. No matter Mm -hmm. if you are good, if you know something, you can publish. But in CC Found, we are uh, are creating a reputation system Mm -hmm. where you can publish only when you you have become a trustworthy author, right? Mm -hmm. So another thing is, uh, when people think about DAO, what they think about mostly is voting. But Mm -hmm. let me ask you, Ashton, should people vote uh, about every decision? Mm -hmm. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. It would be total chaos. (laughs) So what what is a good organization? Is it a place where people need to democratically vote uh, about every decision? Mm -hmm. Or is it a place where processes are set up in such a way that no voting is needed practically? Mm -hmm. So... I am not saying that voting is not needed. Obviously, there will be situations where voting, where people will participate in voting and their tokens will weight their votes as mm-hmm. well as reputation. Mm-hmm. But a good organization, when, when you see a company, for example, when you take away all their resources, what's left is a good set of rules 
that self governs their resources, right? Mm. So how we are preparing CC Found is start centralized first and take little steps towards the centralization. Mm -hmm. We already have developed uh, a judicial system, for example, a four level judicial system. For example, when someone says that your content should be banned on the website, mm -hmm. other people can decide if this person was right or not and if your content should be banned. And even if it is banned, you can elevate the problem to another instance. And we have four levels of these instances. This is just one process that we need to take care of. Mm -hmm. Other processes include, for example, auto-translation of all the mm -hmm. content into all languages. This is a huge thing for CC Found because once you publish your question or your answer on CC Found, your content will be visible in all the languages in mm -hmm. all the search engines. So that's one of the ways we will build this website. For example, if you ask your question in English, it will be visible in German, Japanese, in Polish, everywhere around the world. Wow. That's how we do this. E-commerce already did this many years ago. Why haven't knowledge mm -hmm. sites done this, right? So Definitely. we will implement this, but these translations will be imperfect, obviously. We need to have community, correct them. But you also need a process of how to govern the translators, the people who will correct the translations. And should there be another level of translators that will supervise the other translators for double correction <laughs> or double checking, right? Mm -hmm. So we also need to use our tokens and to create a process that will uh, help them earn money by doing this, by doing service to the community, right? There are many other things about this, but we are developing DAO in this direction. Great, Peter. And I know you talked a lot about the token and the CC Found token for reputation, governance. Can you just give one more high-level overview about how the CC Found token works inside of the ecosystem? All right. So obviously, ICO and token terms are not very popular at the moment. So we prefer to use crowdfunding campaign and DAO knowledge currency terms. And our uh, currency is created in such a way to make both investors, the community, experts, and the newbies also benefit from it by becoming quasi-shareholders in this decentralized company that will have uh, in the future even no representative in the like normal legal world. Uh, currently, obviously, it has. But my, my dream is to create a, a fully decentralized organization where people hold the tokens and I will just be one of the characters. My company mm -hmm. will just be one of the players on the platform that has some tokens mm -hmm. and just participates in the content creation and the management and decisions. Just one of players, right? Uh, my dream is to create a, 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 a true DAO. And in mm -hmm. order to do that, we, we have created this, uh, this currency that uh, has several functions. Obviously, you can pay with it on the platform, but uh, we won't grow if we won't allow other currencies on the platform to pay mm -hmm. for services, right? Mm -hmm. So this token will be the bloodstream of the whole ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And this token will be used uh, in such a way that, for example, if you pay in Bitcoin or in dollars for a service, it will be automatically changed into our token mm -hmm. on an exchange by a smart contract, thus mm -hmm. creating more demand, internal demand, mm -hmm. and thus uh, this token has a strong economy. Later, this token is uh, partially paid to the author of the product as a commission, obviously. Then you have tokens uh, of which 50% of the whole platform's margin is going towards tokens, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. everybody who holds tokens earns quasi-dividends from this platform. Mm -hmm. And 10% of the margin is burned and 40% of the margin, of the platform's margin, goes to the development fund. So you have both internal demand and you have token burning, thus mm -hmm. the token should grow on value. And also gives, you could say passive income, but this is also an unpopular term. Let's talk dividends nowadays. Mm -hmm. nowadays. So wow. we have created such an economy that is very strong and will help people just earn money by doing what's important in life, and that is helping others online. That's what internet was uh, in the beginning. Definitely. And that's a great vision, Peter. And I, I like how you are talking about, you know, building out CC Found with the core foundation and then 
letting it free to become a true decentralized autonomous organization where you're just one of those participants. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how it grows in the future. Now, for the users that are interested in getting involved with CC Found at early stage and learning more about the tokens, what's the best way for them to get into the community? All right, guys. So we are planning uh, on leading some introductory webinars for uh, possible investors. Uh, we are already passed uh, uh, the first investment round and uh, have uh, earned $1.3 million from 270 investors. So now we are moving into our main crowdfunding campaign. And I uh, invite you uh, to, to participate in these webinars. You can visit us on ccfound.com where you will see our current landing page and you can subscribe to our newsletter. We mainly communicate through email, obviously other uh, other uh, social media too. Mm -hmm. But please subscribe to our newsletter and uh, I will send you an email uh, as soon as we will start uh, doing these webinars. Thank you guys for your interest. Great. Thank you so much, Peter, for the time. I will leave those links in the description box below for the viewers as well. All the best with CC Found moving forward in the future and let's follow up in the near future. Thank you, Ashton. I'd be glad to make another one.